Welcome to Robinson's Craft Tech Design. Disclaimer. Please note that these practice exams are not an interprovincial standard Red Seal examination. These are merely practice questions that were developed to help you with your preparation for the Red Seal exam. Let's begin. If the head of a chisel becomes mushroomed, it should be a. Ignored. It gives a larger area to strike. b. Removed with another chisel and hammer. c. Ground down to its original shape. d. Painted red as a warning. The answer is c. Ground down to its original shape. When using chisels or punches, make sure the head is not mushroomed. Striking a mushroomed head may cause chips to fly. When testing compression on a diesel engine you must never a. Crank the engine at high speed. b. Check the engine intake pressure. c. Look for air bubbles in the coolant. d. Squirt oil into the cylinders. The answer is d. Squirt oil into the cylinders. Never squirt oil into a diesel engine to determine whether the problem is with the valves or rings. In a high-compression diesel engine, oil becomes a combustible fuel and could ignite during the compression test. Which of the following conditions can cause excessive brake pedal fade after hard braking application? A. A seized brake caliper piston. B. A brake drum machined beyond its limit. C. Leakage past the master cylinder cups. D. Air in the hydraulic system. The answer is b. A brake drum machined beyond its limit. If the brake drum diameter exceeds the maximum machining diameter, excessive brake pedal fade may occur during sever prolonged braking. Drivers must drain air reservoirs at least daily in order to ensure that the a. Air spring suspension will be charged with air. b. Air spring suspension will maintain the correct ride height. c. Pressure in the air spring suspension will be correct. D. Moisture and contamination in the reservoirs will be removed. The answer is D. Moisture and contamination in the reservoirs will be removed. The operator must drain the air reservoir at least daily to ensure that any contamination is removed from the reservoirs. Excessive contamination in the air system results in air control valve malfunction. Which of the following components allows the technician to make minor adjustments to an alternator's output voltage? A. Adjusting regulator. B. Field circuit. C. Diode rectifier. D. Stator. The answer is a. Adjusting regulator. A voltage regulator is used to control the output voltage of the alternator. Adjustable regulator is not meant to compensate for bad batteries, connection or defective alternator. Check out our website for more practice questions. www.robinsoncrafttechdesign.com The steps to success are learning, training, instruction, practice. Thank you so much for watching. All the best on your Red Seal exam preparation.